In this problem, we're told a sailboat runs before the wind with a constant speed of 4.2 meters per second in a direction 32 degrees north of west. How far A west and B north has the sailboat traveled in 25 minutes? So the first thing you want to do is just draw what's going on, right? So keep in mind, we're going to have a compass, right? So north, east, southwest, and we have uh, this boat, right? And it's going to be, uh, going, to be going 4.2 meters per second north of west, right? So 32 degrees north, right? This is going to be north of the west direction, right? So this is what we have going on. And so what we're trying to find is how far it travels west, so how far it's going to travel this way, and how far it's going to travel north, right? So that's what we're going to be solving for. So we're trying to find distance, right? So what does distance equal? So we know distance is equal to velocity times time, right? So if we can find the velocity of something, right? And we know the velocity uh, of a vector, right? So it's 4.2 meters per second, but it's 32 degrees. So what we're going to want to do is find the velocity in each direction, right? So we're going to find the velocity in the x and the velocity in the y, and then multiply it by how much time passes, and that's going to give us the distance it'll travel in that direction. So let's just start with north, right? So for the north direction, right, we're going to be traveling upwards. So what we need is essentially uh, like the, the y component of this velocity, right? So if I label this y and I label this x, what we're going to want to do is find uh, the x and the y velocity, right? So let's just start with x. So if we redraw this triangle, right? So imagine this is our triangle. This is 32 degrees. And then the hypotenuse is whatever the vector value is. So 4.2 meters per second, right? What we're trying to do is find the vertical. So we're trying to find what y is, right? Because if we have the vertical velocity, we can just multiply by the time. That's going to give us the distance it'll travel in the y or the north direction, right? So if we want to find y, what we can do is use the sine, right? So we know the sine of an angle, in this case 32, uh, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? So Katoa. So the opposite is y. The hypotenuse is 4.2. So y divided by 4.2. And then we multiply both sides by 4.2. That's going to give us 4.2 times the sine of 32, right? So that's going to be the velocity in the y. So the velocity in the y, right, distance is equal to the velocity in the y, which is 4.2 times the sine of 32, multiplied by how long it travels. So it's going to travel for 25 minutes, right? We know it's traveling for 25 minutes, but we have to multiply since this is in meters per second, right? Because notice this vector is in uh, meters per second, so the component has to be in meters per second too. But if we multiply by time, in minutes, we have to make sure it's in seconds, right? So it may be 25 minutes, right? But we know there's 60 seconds for every minute, right? Because notice this is minutes, and we know that there are 60 seconds for every minute. So that'll cancel out the minutes, and now it'll actually be in seconds, right? Because notice, uh, notice this is in meters per second. So it'll cancel out the seconds, and you'll just have meters, right? That's what we measure distance in. So you just want to do 4.2 times the sine of 32, right? And if you do that, you're going to get or 4.2 times the sine of 32 times 25 times 60, you'll get 3, 3, 3, 8.49. So this is going to be in meters, right? Because notice the only, uh, only unit we have is meters. So 3,338.49 meters. You can round however you want. And so keep in mind this was the right, uh, y direction, right? And we're going upwards, so that's how far we're traveling north. So this is basically your answer to B. So B was north, right? So now that we've done north, let's do west. So for west, what we're going to do is the x direction, right? So x, and so imagine the triangle once again, right? So if we want to find the horizontal velocity, right? Uh, notice this is the y and this is the x. So what we want to do is solve for the x instead of the y this time, right? Because y was vertical, x is horizontal. So if we want to use x, we know the cosine of an angle, in this case 32, is equal to uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is just x, and then you divide by 4.2. And if you multiply both sides by 4.2, right, you're going to get the x, right? And x is the horizontal velocity, which is what we want, right? So we have distance is equal to the velocity, which or the horizontal velocity, right? 4.2 times the cosine of 32. And then you multiply by how long, right? So keep in mind it was 25 minutes, but we have to multiply by 60 because we want it in seconds. So just do 25 times 60. And if you do this, 4.2 times the cosine of 32 times 25 times 60. If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 5, 3, 4, 2, 0.70, and so on, uh, right? And this is going to be in meters. So 5,342.7 meters. You can round a different way if you want. If you want to convert it into kilometers, basically all I have to do is divide by 1,000, right? Because there's 1,000 meters for every kilometer, but I'm just going to leave it in meters. So keep in mind that this was north, and then this was west. So these are going to be your answers, and uh, hopefully you found this useful.